Alright. Let's see. Alright. What's up, fellas? Alright, so I'm still trying to uh, uh, get Caroline on. Uh, it's, it's a little different when you're using uh, Discord. I don't know if she's used Discord a lot, but we're going to get her on. All right, so you see what some of the people saying, uh, not happy at all. What are you guys talking about, Brent Forbes? <laughs> Spoiler alert, I'm very happy. And I have reasons why I'm very happy, but I'm a, I'm leave y'all to it. I know a lot of Spurs fans are like up and down about it because no, everyone wanted him gone when he left. Everyone's so happy and he won a championship. And I, I remember seeing plenty of people say, hey, I want him back. Hey, is my is my mic too loud? Check, check, one, two. We're recording. I'm cancerous. If you did, you wouldn't want to answer this. You just wanted backwards with a battle rap. Wrote for cannabis. I don't know. Wait, is that working? Da da da. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> She's getting ready. <sighs> Where's Carolina? She's getting ready, man. Dang. Can can you just give people time? Oh my goodness. Like, I have the most impatient chat of all time. Like, oh my gosh. Where is she? Like, dang. Give her a minute. Check, check. I think it is too loud. Is it too loud? Okay, that's too soft. Is it too loud? Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, that's good. I'm looking at the levels, okay? I'm not crazy. I am a little crazy. Let's bring that down a little bit. Uh, who is Carolina? Okay, that's a better question. So if you don't know who Carolina is, um, she's actually a pretty big shot in the uh, Spurs community. Um, Want to read a little bit on it? Yes. Wait. Let's read a little bit on her before she uh, gets here. You see. You want to know who she is? Here we go. Boom, can you see that? All right, so let's read a little bit about her. So, Carolina Teague. <clears throat> Carolina has been passionate about sports from a young age growing up in the south side of Chicago. And man, every time you hear Chicago, it's like the south side of Chicago. Like every great story starts off in the south side of Chicago. Is that like the worst part of Chicago? Because every like story starts off with that. Okay and watched every Chicago Bulls game during the 90s championship run. In her early teen years, her family relocated to San Antonio where she has resided since. Her passion with debating sports against others and life benefited her tremendously when she decided to try out for a local sports radio competition and won. After beating 150 people for a spot on the air, Carolina was able to bring her passion for sports to the forefront. Uh, she's grown fond of the local boxing, a huge community in San Antonio. So basically she's... Uh, She's very involved, okay? And also, one thing that's very interesting is she interviewed, which I didn't get to see it, but she interviewed uh, Keldon Johnson. And soon she's going to, well, you know what? No, I'll tell you. I'll just tell you. She's also going to interview, uh, and I'm going to ask her about this, but apparently Derek White? Yeah, the Derek White. <clears throat> But yeah, we're, we're gonna uh, we're gonna see uh, what's popping with that. But yeah, so probably won't talk to her too long. She's a big shot, bro. The fact that she's even like getting on here with us, she's uh she don't have to do that, bro. We're peasants. She's queen. Everyone call her queen, okay? When she's in here, her name is Queen, okay? You hear me? Queen. Nothing else. Don't call her Carolina. It's Queen. Queen T. That's the only thing that I'll uh. I'll accept. And if you don't call it that, you're going to be perma banned from the YouTube, okay? I'm going to ban you forever. Ban you for life, all right? So that's her name, all right? Queen. Queen T. All right, let's see what some of the chat members saying. Mariposa. Calm down. Calm down, my friend. Sweet Caroline. Okay. No, we're not calling her Sweet Caroline. Okay, it's queen, all right? She's queen. She's gonna take over the whole stream. I, I'm just like, I don't know. 
I wouldn't even be mad if she said, yeah, I'm not going to get on uh, with you guys because you're filthy and I'm better than you. I'll be like, hey, you are, so. Not to mention, bro, that Discord is weird and I'm still trying to get the hang of it. But I'm going to let her join the Discord and I'm going to add her in. Oof. Discord is very weird. Uh, do you think we're going to trade anyone? Well... It's funny you ask that. Let me see. Is there any way we could look at the whole Spurs roster right now? I don't think we could. It's funny you say that. Um, oh, someone did do an updated roster. Oh, that's after Crazy Tuesday. More stuff happened yesterday. And not only that, there's even another. What just happened? I got a notification for something. Um, let's see. The centers, bro, we are so stacked. I think it's so funny how, like, <laughs> I find it so funny that we all were just sitting back, like, look, dope, look, dude, we need some big men. And Spurs is like, oh, okay, you need some big men? And now we're, like, overcrowded with big men. Look at this. Power forwards, Luka, uh, Thad, Aminu. Centers, Drew Eubanks, Zach Collins, Jock. And Jock could very well be a, uh, a power forward. This is nuts. This is really nuts. Uh oh, she's about to join. She just texted me. She's about to join. Oh no. Oh no. We're not worthy, guys. We're not worthy. Remember, her name is Queen, okay? You can only refer to her as Queen. Anything other than that is permabanned. Everyone will be banned. Do not call her anything other than Queen. We're not worthy. We are not worthy. Point guard situation. Wait. Oh, the shooting guards. Why are we putting Derek White as shooting guard? Why is that like, that's like everywhere. Where's the power? Point guard. Point guard. See, that's bull. DeJounte Trey Jones point guard? Derek White's a point guard. Oh, music's loud. Oh, my bad. Is that better? Actually, it's kind of loud in my ear, too. Let me see. I hope that's better. Sorry about that. Um, what's that? Bum, bum, bum. Queen T. There we go. That's what you call it. Bruh, who says sweet... Bruh. You're perma banned, Dan. I'm burn I'm I'm banning you right now. Is the music still out? I need to know these things. You guys are very upfront with me, and I really appreciate it. Uh Haiti says, Do you think we're trading Bulls player for Kuzma? Hmm. No. Uh I think they're gonna hold on to Kuzma. I think the wizard's gonna try to hold on to Kuzma. What they just gave up? There, there's no trading. I mean, I mean, who would they want? Thad and I mean, there are expiring contracts. Uh, I mean, I don't know why they would want Thad and uh, Aminu. That doesn't make sense. Forbes fumble should have stayed. Look, man, you guys need to be grateful that he even wants to come to San Antonio, come back. And you got to keep in mind too, when he was on this team. My oh, music's good? Good. Um, it looks like the chat's way behind of the stream. That's weird. But, uh... Yeah, when he was on the team, we didn't have good defenders at all. Like, who was on the team when, uh... Let's see. Uh, he was on the team 2020, right? Uh, it's 2021. How do you go to... Dude, dude, things need to be more accessible. This is stupid. I just need the 20. Here we go. He was explosive with us. That was kind of his breakout season. Or a couple breakout seasons. 
he definitely grew under us. All right, you see, see, look at this. Look, Damari Carroll was trash. Uh, DeMar DeRozan isn't a great defender. Okay, Carolina's in here. I'm gonna tell her to raise her hand. Oh, she did raise her hand. Okay. All right. Call her queen, okay? Let's see. Invite to speak. Hey, wait. Hey, Hello. can you hear me? Yes. Okay, awesome. Wait, let me see something. Uh, Are you okay with video? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, because I don't see... I don't know. Do you, do you have anything on your end that could let you do video? No. Mm, that's weird. That's Does it, should it let me? Yeah, it should, but I don't know. Hmm. Okay, do this. Okay, let's do this. We're going to mm -hmm. do this. Head on over to Talk With Spurs Family and just go to, like, room one. Oop. Did I do it? Hello? Yeah. Uh, can you hear me? Uh-oh, I'm a texter. Let's do it like this. All right, no one join room one, okay? <gasps> what is it doing? Where are you? Wait, let me see. Let me see if I can add her. That's so weird. That's so strange. We're gonna figure this out, all right, guys? Just give me a second. I don't know what just happened. Okay, there's Carolina. How many people we got on right now? Hey, you guys are so sweet. 51 people. Remember, only queen, okay? Let's give it a minute. Give me a sec. How do I go to another room? Here, I got you. She's just trying to figure it out. Oh, okay. She's having a hard time with her phone. Dang, dang, dang. I wonder, can I invite her? Let me try to invite her. Let's see. Boom, 
You guys just be patient, okay? We're gonna do this. We're gonna figure it out. Somebody timestamp it, okay, when the video actually starts. Technical difficulties. <sighs> All right, let me see what the chat's saying. Still communicating weird. Uh, Murray White, Keldon McBuckets, and Jam. Who's Jam? Oh, Jakob. I'm actually excited for the season. Me too, GT. Like, I actually think this is going to be a really good season for us. Oh, uh, yeah. I think she got kicked out of the surf. This is so weird. Of course this would happen. I knew this would happen. Things like this happens when you want to have fun. It's okay though. Hey, I'm new too, man. I don't get this stuff. Yeah, that's just the whole server. All right, she needed the server again. So. We got shooters. We got shooters. Rick Ross voice. He said that. Mercer. You guys are really excited, bro. Calm down. Are you going to talk about the Spurs? Uh, No, I'm not. I'm just going to stare at you guys. Okay, can you can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, can you see me? No, but no? okay. But there, but there should be like a button that says like turn on camera or something. I know. I was. I'm so sorry. I know it's a pain in that butt, right? I'm like, oh my god, like. You can there, you can you can curse. Oh, I heard it coming. Oh, okay, pain in the. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, got it. I'll curse. Okay, I got my video. Hey, okay. yeah, there we go. Hey, Yay. look at Carolina. Hold on, let me. Let me do a little pop out. There we go. Look at you. Hey. We did it. God. I know. We're so smart. It was a battle, but we got here. <laughs> no, no, no. It... The <laughs> okay. All right. So, Caroline, I was just telling everybody a little bit about yourself. Um, I was reading this bio on 9:30 a.m. The answer. And huh? yeah, I was just I just thought it'd be cool if you wanted to just like tell people a little bit about yourself what you got going on and all that good stuff yes hi everybody um my name is carolina teague and you can find me on the sports time i have a sports radio show in san antonio and the show is on 9 30 a.m the answer is from 10 to 11 a.m and you can follow me on twitter and instagram at carolina teague underscore and i just announced our special guest for this weekend it's going to be the one year anniversary of the show and I'm going to be having Derek White on the show, so I'm really excited. Ah, that's like my favorite player. Like everyone Me knows. Too. Oh my goodness! Like, so what are the what are some of the just out of curiosity before we get into like a few of the topics and whatnot? Like, what what are some of the questions you got in your mind? Like you you wanted to ask him. <clears throat> well, I just kind of want to have fun with him. Um, I'm barely building my relationship with the Spurs. I don't want to blow it. Um, right. So I I, I kind of want to just. I kind of want people, and I'll, obviously, like, I know this sounds really, like, this is just how I think. I'm going to talk to you like I talk to people behind the scenes. Like, the way that I think is, like, people already know, like, all your stats. Like, you can just look up your stats. Everybody know you can, you can draw a file. You can take a charge. You're good on defense. You have yeah. injuries. And, but who are, who is Derek White? And that's kind of what I want to know. Like, who is Derek White? Um, like, you know, his like favorite places to eat and stuff. Of course, I'm going to be mixing in basketball talk as well. That's obviously going to be in there. But the majority of what I want to do is just kind of have fun with him and get people to know him a little bit better. Like, of course, you know, people want to get to know him better. So that's kind of what I want to do. Okay. And I'm looking at the chat right here. And by the way, if you ever look at the video later on, they're going to say a lot of uh, Queen. And I told them to call you Queen because we're peasants <laughs> in your presence. Okay. So <laughs> so it's not Carolina. It's like Queen T. <laughs> But, but, so, so, yeah. 
but somebody wants <laughs> but somebody wants to know uh when are you interviewing Derek? When did, when did you say? So it's gonna be this Sunday from ten this to eleven AM on nine thirty AM the answer. So that's in the morning. And if you miss the show, I do have a podcast. It's on Apple and Spotify, or you can listen live on the iHeartRadio app. So those are all the options to check it out in case you miss it. Okay. Okay. Cool. Mm-hmm. Cool. Cool. I'm actually excited about that because I already know Me it's too. like because yeah, I don't like those typical interviews, man. Where it's just like so boring. It's like just you I know mean, get into I, some. I kind of do. I kind of do want to ask him like stuff about trades and stuff, but. You know, I kind of don't want to step on his toes. You know, I know he's not going to give me a straight up answer anyways. You know, he's going to give me like a PR answer. So I, I'm, I'm going to, yeah, it's going to be fun. I'm nervous. I'm actually really nervous. He's never called into a sports uh, radio host show well, in San Antonio. This is going to be his first one. Well, I've seen, I seen some of your stuff before and you seem very approachable. So I'm sure like talking to him is going to be pretty easy. Like I'm sure he'll give you a decent answer. He won't go fully like PR on you, but. No, he's really nice. He's really nice. Yeah, yeah. But okay, okay. So let's go ahead and go into uh, some of the topics. So I did want to get some of your takes on it because I didn't see like some of your recent stuff. I do like your stuff, but I haven't seen some of the recent stuff. So what was your thoughts on Joshua Primo when we picked him? Um, I think what that tells me is they're going to be getting rid of guards, obviously, and they're working on rebuilding. Mm-hmm. Um, I was kind of disappointed that it wasn't uh, a big. I think the Spurs needed a big, but I have a like something tells me that they might get a big in the free agency because they need a big. Everybody knows that. So I was in, I was kind of in shock that they got him, but I do think that he's really great. So I'm excited to see what he does. Now this is very funny because like what you just said, like you knew that they were probably going to get a big um, in free agency. Mm-hmm. We're like stacked on bigs now. Like, I don't know if you looked at the roster, like, since, like, yesterday. They got, uh, they got Dad Young, right? Yeah. Um, and they got rid of Rudy Gay. I haven't really, I've been so busy with life. I haven't even seen, I know Brent Forbes is back. You got to tell listen, me the update. Listen. Because I'm right there with you. You got to give me the update, dude. Okay, listen to this. All right, so the, these are all our bigs now. All right? Okay, Luca, okay. Luca, and I have it on screen. Okay. So it's Luca, Dad Young, Aminu. Jakob, Drew Eubanks, Zach Collins, and Jock Landale. Just a bunch of bigs. And not only that, Noah, I don't know if you heard of Noah uh, Magaro, but... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he tweeted out that there's another guy, another Ford that we're looking at that we might try to get. Loannis Papapator? I I have no idea who that is. Some Greek uh, league MVP? But we're looking at him, too. So, like, we're stacked on bigs. So I don't know what's well, going on. Well, I think they need a superstar big. They need a big that is powerful and who's going to be that guy for them. And I don't yeah. think that they have that big. That's what I think they need. They need a standout big. So that's kind of what I was expecting them to draft is somebody who's coming out of college who's got the potential to be a, a huge power forward or big in the league. Mm-hmm. And even though they're stacked on those bigs and you just gave them a lot of names, I still think that they need a superstar big. And that's kind of what my consensus has been for a, a minute. Well, I'm going to be real with you, like real talk. Mm-hmm. Every single person that we're getting, or not every single person, but if I look at this roster right here, mm-hmm. it's a lot of people that are just kind of diamonds in the rough. Like it's like the Spurs are just waiting for that one person to kind of be a breakout because everybody's just potential. Right. If you're talking about Primo, Luca, DeJounte, Lonnie, mm-hmm. uh, Lonnie Walker, Keldon Johnson, like all these guys are just like, you could break out and be something special. Even I, I know, I know you'll be lying if you told me that you know who Jock Landale is because I had no idea who he is. I don't know if anyone yeah. did. Okay, so yeah. he's, he's from Australia. And uh, he plays with Patty actually, um, right now with the uh, Olympics going uh, on. The Olympics. Yeah, yeah. And he's a guy that he's 25 years old, and he started off not being that great, but as time went on, uh, he can run the court extraordinarily well. He's very tall. He's like 6'11. Um, he can shoot the three ball. He's good around the rim. Uh, he lacks a little bit of defense, and he's even transparent about that. And he said that he wants to be in a systematic. Uh, system like a, just a system like the Spurs where he can okay, thrive uh-huh. yeah so he's a guy that's just straight up potential it's like everyone's just like full of potential so 
I don't know. Yeah, what... and I, and, and I'm, I want to like touch base on what you said. Like they are waiting for the breakout, and I think they've yeah. done an incredible job doing that because you know they haven't been able to get lottery pick uh, since before. Well, they had the lottery pick last year, and mm-hmm. then they had the lottery pick with Tim Duncan. But before that, they had to create a system where they were having to find diamonds in the rough because they didn't get have high lottery picks because they were in the playoffs for 23 years in a row. Yeah. So they if there's anybody who can find the diamond in the rough, it's definitely the Spurs organization. Yeah. And, and somebody in the chat said, preach Queen T. So <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. All right. So I think we covered that pretty good. So it sounds like your same reaction was like everybody else's with Primo. Like why? <laughs> like pretty much just like yeah, why, why did it you wasn't that? a why but it wasn't like a hater why it was like a I didn't think they were gonna go in this direction but I've never been I've always been surprised by their picks anyways yeah so so it's not like I was expecting them to go the route that we all thought anyway yeah. you know what I mean like I wasn't hating I knew they were gonna do something there. I just didn't know what I mean we're not GM for the love of Christ you know what I mean like yeah. We can all speculate, but when they make that pick, you're just kind of like, oh, wow, we weren't expecting that. But I think, you know, they've done a great job with picks, and I trust I trust their vision, to be honest with you. Yeah, that's how I am. And and all those reports that came out, like, oh, my goodness, like, the Spurs are going to trade up. The Spurs are going to do this. The Spurs are going to do that. It, it never pans out. Like, it never pans. They never do it. They never trade up in the draft. They It's, like, very rare. So I, I didn't buy into all the hype and who the Spurs are going to get and all that stuff. Um, but I don't know. I have a bold prediction. Uh oh. I'm gonna I'm make you big um, on the screen okay. for this. Hold on. Okay. Everybody thinks that I'm crazy, but I think that Quindary Witherspoon is gonna go to the Nets. Quindary Witherspoon is gonna go to the Nets. Wait, do we still have Quindary? No, they don't. But I just feel like throwing that out there. Is he a free agent? They they did yeah they didn't pick him they didn't uh, pick to um, extend his contract. But still, just thought I'd make mm. that statement before we moved on to the next topic. Okay, with that, you think that would make sense? Like, what what's your thought on that? Like, why do you feel like he would go to the Nets? I I just feel like he's a really I don't know. I feel like they need someone like him in the system. I don't understand. Like, I have I have like visions, and I think <laughs> that, like I just had a vision. I had a vision that <laughs> he's going to the Nets. Now, if it's wrong, then I'm not Raven. Like I think that I am, but. <laughs> <laughs> like I was thinking, I'm not so Raven, but you know, I, it was like a that's so Raven moment. <laughs> I was just about to say that's so Carolina. I was like, I'm not gonna say it. That's too corny. But then you said it, so I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's so Raven. <laughs> well, all right. Well, if it happens, then we'll see what happens. we then we I'm know freaking Raven, bro. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. All right. We're doing this. Okay. So I really want to know you're authentic. Okay. I I know that. You, uh, you're a big shot. You don't want to say anything that like prevent people from getting on, you know, show and talking to you and all that. No, but... I'm not a big shot. I'm normal. Okay, okay. No, you're a big shot. Okay, so Bryn Forbes. Mm-hmm. Are you happy mm-hmm. that Bryn Forbes is back? I love Bryn Forbes. Yeah, ever see, I was the only one, and you can mark my damn word. Uh oh. I was the only one, the only person in San Antonio sports radio who believed in Bryn Forbes. I said he's a shooter. He gets roasted all the time um, by first Twitter. I see it all the time. He sucks. He's not good on defense. He's not. He's not. He's not. But he's there to shoot. And I think he's a shooter. So I've always, you know, did that. And I think when he won the championship this year, he was a good role player mm-hmm. for the Bucks. So I, I think he got, got a lot of unnecessary criticism in San Antonio. Um, well, actually, the criticism was warranted for his defense. Yeah. But when you his offense um i think he is, has drastically improved throughout the years and i think that he's a good asset when you need to make points so mm-hmm. and of course but now we're in an offensive driven nba anyways yeah um brent corp coming back to me um i've never had an issue with him like the way everybody else does so i again trust their vision i don't know where we're going with this i don't know where the spurs are going with it but i'm gonna give them just give them the keys to the car yeah. They don't crack. <laughs> yeah. See, see, with me, I, I'm the same way. Like, I, I trust them. It's just right now the roster is like, I don't know what's going on. It's just so many different pieces. So mm-hmm. I, I'm with you that somebody's going to get traded. But mm-hmm. Bryn Forbes, you're not the only one. Wait, maybe in sports radio. I'm not in sports radio. But you're not the only one that love Bryn Forbes because mm-hmm. I was so high on him. Like, 
I remember. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Game seven. Do you remember game seven against the Nuggets? He was the only yeah. one that showed up. Oh my God! You have to send me the clips because I don't remember this. Yeah. But I'm sure I'm sure you're right because he does he does and everybody overlooks all his great moments, but they love talking about his bad moments and I hate that I hate that people do that to Brand because he sent me that clip so I can be like this is who they find so like shut up. Yeah, like okay, so game here I can give you the stats right here. We lost 86 to 90. This was game seven of against the Denver Nuggets. Literally, let me see. Where's the uh, where's the peeps? Game leaders. Okay. Well, full box score. Here we go. All right. So, Bryn Forbes, he had 19 points. DeRozan had 19 points. Aldridge had 16. Aldridge went 6 for 16. DeRozan went 7 for 21. Bryn Forbes went 7 for 11. And not only that, I remember him hitting a lot of clutch shots at the end of the game. Even a clutch uh, uh, fast break point as well. So, like, everyone that gets on to him and say that he's not... Um, like he can't play great and good defense and all that stuff. That's true. But I think the biggest problem with the Spurs in 2019, uh, especially 2019, was that we had a team that was full of guys that couldn't really play defense. Like we didn't have a good defensive team. Now we have a yeah. very fundamentally good defensive team, in my opinion. The only one that year I think I thought was great was Derek White. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. In the playoffs. In the playoffs. He's that year i believe it was that year i think the only person who it was. to me played really good defense it was Derek white mm -hmm. yeah i know i think Derek white had like four points and that was the year dejounte tore his acl right or something yeah. like that yeah, that, the, that, okay so then that's why yeah it was yeah. just Derek. Uh -huh. yeah and Derek mm -hmm. white in the entire season Derek white played like crazy great defense and he was kind of the only one that we could lean on as far as defense so in that regard yeah like i don't understand this whole notion that Brent Forbes can't play defense. It's like, guys, a lot of play, a lot of teams have sharpshooters that aren't great defenders, and you end up just fine. They have role players who do certain things. Like, some people are there just for one purpose and one purpose only. When mm -hmm. Rodman was on the Bulls, he couldn't sh shoot a damn basket, but he can guard the hell out of everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay? He got rebounds all the time. They have people who they know. Okay, so this so just mirror that, flip it over. This is how I look at it. Yeah. Brent Forbes the same thing. He can't play defense for shit, right? But what he can do is he can shoot. So it's okay to have those players on the team and you just let them do their job and shut up. Yeah, yeah. Because we were getting, because people said that he got exploited on defense. He got exploited because he wasn't really surrounded about around defenders. A lot of times he would be out there with Patty Mills and those two guys together are just too short. Even though Patty Mills is a good defender in my opinion, but they're too short. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah so... I mean, that's not what he's there to do. I mean, they didn't, he's not, he's not all-star defense. He's not an all-defensive team. Like, we know he don't play defense, but he's exactly. there to shoot. Exactly. And then he was con a contributing factor to the Milwaukee Bucks championship, whether you like it or not. It's not just Giannis on the team. So, I mean, I like Brent Forbes coming back. I wonder why, you know, it's like going back and forth. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. And, and, on, and on top of that, I also want to add that he was the only one, in my opinion, after um here we go after uh, game seven when they talked uh in the interview i felt like he was the only one that cared well him and Derek white like Derek white was ready to cry and then uh bryn forbes was like oh we're gonna be back we're gonna do this we're gonna do that uh i don't think la really cared but that's just me i don't know i don't know <laughs> <laughs> i don't, them don't yeah like i don't like i don't think uh you know who else i didn't think cared i didn't think Ooh. dwight howard ever cared oh no dwight howard doesn't care no that's what I'm saying. Like, there's some people like you know they don't care. Bryn cares. Derek cares. Dejounte cares. A lot of yeah. Some a lot of them care. <laughs> yeah, yeah. E like easy. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, first off, you grew up uh because I read about it. I read about it on stream. You grew up a Bulls fan, right? I did. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I how did. do you? So I'm sure they still have like a sweet spot in your heart. So how do you feel about DeRozan going there? I'm happy for DeRozan. He's going to the best place. So my, my spirit is so happy. I love the Chicago Bulls. They'll always hold a special place in my heart. Mm -hmm. And I think that the Bulls have a good player with him. And I think sometimes Spurs fans mm -hmm. can undervalue certain players. And I don't think that's fair. I think DeMar DeRozan is going somewhere where they're not going to undervalue him. Bulls Twitter is 
is really nice. They're mm -hmm. really nice when they're on your good side, you know? And Spurs Twitter is the same way. But I, I like that he's going to this organization. I think he's a good fit for the Bulls system. Um, I like what the Spurs got in return. Well, actually, the Thad Young thing, like Thad Young, but I like how they got two, what is it, two first rounders and a second rounder in exchange for him. Yeah. I like that part of that, the, the draft picks that they got for DeMar DeRozan, because that just shows to me that the Spurs are still working on rebuilding. You know, the youth movement is still strong, and it's clear that that's what they're doing. And the Bulls got a veteran who plays exceptionally well offense. And, you know, he's, He's kind of he he had his well he's always been kind of like on and off with offense but I think this particular year this past year he really showed like his leadership when it comes to both sides of the ball. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm. I hope because you said that you're not happy about the Thad Young thing. I'm not, but you I mean you can try to sell me on it, and I'll I'll try to buy okay. it. Okay, okay. I'm gonna sell you on this. Okay. Now. Okay. Thad Young. All right. What, what I'll ask you this. I'll ask you this. Like, in your opinion, what do you think the Spurs like do well? Like, what what is it about the Spurs right now that you like the most? Oh, I would say the young guys like Keldon. And, you know, what do you like about yeah, them the most? Yeah, yeah, the youth. I like the I like Keldon. I like the youth people, with the exception of Derek, is not considered youth. Mm -hmm. um, I like that they improve drastically on defense as well. That's what I really go. like the most. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so in defense is like hustle, right? It's just straight up hustle, right? Yeah. Okay. Thad Young, I'm bringing it on the screen. Thad Young won the 2020-21 NBA Hustle Award that people don't really think about. But he won uh -huh. at age, like, I guess he was 32 at the time. He's 33 now, I think. Is that right? I don't uh -huh. know. Um, but Bulls Fourth, that is young, led all NBA players in charges drawn and offensive loose balls recovered com recovered per minute basis. Now, just to give you a little bit of an insight on like the other winners of this award over the last like few years, is that young this year? Before that was Montrez Harrell. Before that was Marcus okay. Smart, Amir Johnson, and Patrick Beverly in 2016, 2017. Okay, so they're even the company. Yeah, so he fits like what we do like that nastiness you know what i mean mm -hmm. yeah. you're hungry okay sorry my child just walked in i am i'll hungry. go get you something a little bit okay i'll make you some food but mommy's doing an interview okay okay hey go over here this way go out this way we're talking about the spurs <laughs> all right guys put your kid put your kid on i'm okay with that <laughs> you want to ask him some questions yeah, yeah. Let me, I'll ask him some questions. If you're okay with it, if you're comfortable with it. Yeah, no, okay. no. Ask him some questions. Cameron, get over here. Cameron's Cameron. a good name. Cam, Cam. You'll be the first person to talk to my kid ever. Really? I'll bring my kid up. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> Cam Cameron. Oh, he's going to get a whooping. Cam, Cam. <laughs> Cam, come here real quick. So tomorrow, yeah, I'm tired of seeing tomorrow in ISO situations too. Okay, hey, they want to ask you a sports question, okay? Okay, so you're gonna put this headphone on real quick. Okay, hold on. All right, here, here's Cameron right here. Okay, hey. just for a little bit. Hey, Cameron. Hey. Hey, Hi. Hey, I just want to ask you a question real quick. So, are you a Spurs fan? Um, no. Oh, you're not a Spurs fan. Okay, well, who's your favorite? Who's your favorite team? Basketball or NFL? Uh, let's do let's do basketball. Lakers. Lakers. Okay, so who's your favorite player? LeBron James. Okay, so how did you feel about the Space Jam movie? Be completely honest. Give us your real thoughts on it. The Space Jam movie. Uh, really good. Really good. I. I have to agree with you, man. It was a pretty good movie. It was a pretty good movie, but I feel like it could have been better. But it, it was, it was okay. It was okay. So I agree with you. But uh, yeah, man. Thanks, thanks for talking with me. I just wanted to ask you those like simple questions. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I. When he says tells people the Lakers, I get so embarrassed. <laughs> What did I go wrong as a parent? <laughs> LeBron James, Lakers. I, I can't first used to be a 
Spurs fan and then like he switched up on me and I was like really are you serious like because I'm trying to make him a Bulls fan or a Spurs fan like I'm good <laughs> with either one but then he went left field on me and went to Lakers I think he's a victim a victim of marketing tactics that's what I think <laughs> it's, it's the LeBron thing I, I disagree with him on the Space Jam movie that movie was awful but hey 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 each his own <laughs> awful awful terrible <laughs> how much how much longer do I have you I have like one more topic. As long as you, as long as you want me here, I'm here. Okay, okay. Well, okay. we can continue with this one. So, how do you feel about, you know, what I told you that like he's if, if I can give you a little more context. So he's first in charges drawn, fifteenth uh, in deflections, first in offensive loose ball recoveries, uh, ninth in offensive box outs. Um, and those kind of the big ones. Everything else is just like twenty second, eighteen, twenty six, which is still good, but I mean they're not as mm-hmm. prevalent. Um, I, 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 I see, I see what you're telling me and I just hope that you're right because I think, cause right now I'm not complete. Like I like, I really love DeMar DeRozan. So I just didn't want to see him leave. I mean, I knew it was coming, but yeah. I like the, the better part of that trade deal is the picks that they got out of it. Like I like the sad young move with the picks, but I don't. I like the picks part more than I like the sad young part. So we'll see what happens. Okay. I'm excited though. I think you you gave me some good points that I didn't know um, because I yeah. haven't had time to do my homework and stuff, but I, I like what you're telling me. So I can see why they wanted him on. I didn't know it before, like, but now I know. I, I, I just thought that that was like interesting. It's like, oh, well, he was that big of a hustler. Cause no one talks about like the hustle award. Like everyone talks about MVP, um, what defensive player of the year? No one talks about the NBA Hustle Award ever. I love hustlers, so that's like exactly. one of the things. Exactly. Yeah, I love hustlers just in life and here, you know, in sport hustlers. Yeah, and like at, tea, so yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. and and just to like throw a little bit more at you, uh, the fifth, so the top five hustle awards that could have got hustle award or whatever, the fifth person was a uh, true holiday. He just won a championship. Ooh, he just won. A, yep, I love Drew Holiday too, and he was hustling. He was. He was a hustler. He was hustling on 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 the defense. Yeah. Uh, yep. Most definitely. Okay, so how do you feel about? I meant to ask you this. So how do you feel about our um, second round pick? The second round pick. Why is why we's. I don't know what I was saying. Somebody told me it was Wee's comp. He's like a sharpshooter small for it, is that? I'm gonna look him up real quick. I think he's like a small a sharpshooter. Second round pick. Yeah, Joe Wee's comp? Wee's comp? First, second round pick. Let me tell you what I feel. Um, Joe Wee's comp. Um, I mean, well, just knowing he's a small I know. forward. Yeah, just, yeah I, I think, the, oh, just knowing he's a small forward. And, I mean, I think it's a good a addition. Yeah, I think it's a good addition. They need better offense, to be honest, this year. So if he can shoot and he can score points, that's all that matters to me. I think their uh, Spurs offense, in my opinion, could be a lot better. <laughs> okay, and somebody ca- told me to call him Wheezy. So I'll just <laughs> I'll call okay, it Weezy. Weezy. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I want to see. See, I want to like when it comes to like drafts and stuff. Honestly, like when it comes to like drafts and stuff, I need to get better. That's the thing. Like, because we all have our um, strengths and our weaknesses. Draft picks are like my biggest weakness. So that's actually one of my top goals this year is to get better with like draft picks and stuff like that. Listen, listen, Queen T. I'm I'm not good at draft picks at all okay uh, this is my first year actually act like looking into it at all okay so you're not the only person i, I don't know and, and the thing is when you're because you're a you were a bulls fan so you were you grew up around like the championship era um yes i did and me i was just i was a spurs fan growing up in the championship era so i never had to pay attention to draft picks so i've been spoiled so i mean it makes sense to not like look into it you know like you don't really Can have I to worry tell you about something? it what's up when I was a kid, I moved here. The the Bulls won, right? Mm-hmm. The next year, we moved to San Antonio, and mm-hmm. the Spurs won. So me and my family were convinced we brought the luck with us. <laughs> so that's when we moved. Yeah, we brought the luck with us, bro. It's it's so funny because didn't like 
I, look, I don't know my history like this, okay? So I'm not going to act like I do. That's okay. But, okay, so the Spurs, it was something like we did a trade with uh, for Dennis Rodman to the Bulls, mm -hmm. and that helped us get Tim Duncan, right? It's like... Yes. Okay. Yes. So we're all mm -hmm. connected. That's beautiful. Yeah, we're all connected. Yep. And, and yeah, it was a trade that had... Um, yeah, that that pick that they got for trading Dennis Rodman is their pick for Tim Duncan. So it all worked itself out. Or, or was it? I'm so confused. Was it that, or was it that we end up tank? I'm so confused. We did a no. Trade. It was the Dennis Rodman pick. It was the Dennis Rodman. No, it was the Dennis Rodman uh, trade situation. I I, got, I can give you the exact verbiage, but no, it was the Dennis Rodman trade situation because people rub it in my face all the time. Oh, okay. Yeah, it gets rubbed in my face all the time. So that's how I know. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Somebody said who was that? <laughs> I don't know. Clan not from Where? San Antonio. Yeah, I'm not from San Antonio. Where are you from? I'm from Tennessee. Yeah, I'm from oh, Memphis, Te really? Memphis, Tennessee. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah. Oh. I, I became a Spurs fan just because uh, Mono Ginobili. That's kind of how I started. Oh, okay, okay. Wow, that's really interesting. So you're not a Grizzles fan. No, I'm not a Grizzlies fan. I I, uh, I actually uh, went against the Grizzlies quite a bit um, in middle school. Like, I hated the Grizzlies. I was like, dude, we got to beat them. And that 2011 was like the worst experience ever when uh, Zach Randolph just destroyed us. <laughs> I was going to say, um, so didn't the Grizzlies bounce out the Spurs this year? Uh, the yeah, season? yeah, they did it again. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Uh, Since you're from things. I didn't really care because I, I felt like we weren't, I don't know, but near the end, I felt like we weren't going to make the playoffs. So I was just kind of iffy about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was kind of mm -hmm. iffy about it. Okay, so you said we need shooters, right? Because I'm looking at the chat and people are bringing this up. Yeah. Okay. So how do you feel about McBuckets, like Doug uh, McDermott that we grabbed? I think we mentioned it a little bit, but the shooter, uh, small forward. Well, he's small forward slash power forward, but yeah, he's a sharp shooter. Oh my god! So we so they're basically hamming it up with people who can shoot. Yeah, that's actually kind of what's going on. Because what Doug McDermott? I don't know if Zach Collins can shoot. I don't watch a lot of Zach Collins. But well, Brent uh, Forbes can shoot. Brent, yeah, Brent Forbes can shoot. That's, like, that's the only then, explanation to bring him back. Primo's a sharpshooter. Right. Uh, Wise can or Wheezy is a sharpshooter. Uh, oh my goodness! Somebody in the chat is. It's flirting with me, and somebody else said Quinn T has a big smile, and then they uh, put the prayer hands. I don't know what that means, but they like your smile. I do. I don't think so. Where is the chat? I can't see the people, and I want to say hi to them. That was the oh. main reason why I wanted to be on it. I oh. can't see the chat. Oh my bad. It's on YouTube. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's on YouTube. <laughs> it's on YouTube right now. Hey, <laughs> we're on YouTube. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> I love YouTube. Hey, YouTube. My bad, Caroline. I thought I mentioned it. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's why I meant my no, live stream. No, you threw me in here blind, <laughs> like a blind pig, and I'm over here talking big. We're all in a little app. No, we're on YouTube. No, it's, it's yeah, it's me. <laughs> Yay! Hey, YouTube. <laughs> okay. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, ask me, ask me more, ask me more. Let's have fun. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I don't know if you really gave your thing on Doug McDermott. So yeah. Uh, so many simps in the chat. That's what somebody just said. But yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about? No way uh, here. Let me, hold on. Wait a minute. Who said that? Who said that? CB. Who said that? CB. Okay. Let me tell CB something about simps. Okay. <laughs> First of all, anytime somebody compliments a woman, they always get called simps, right? But, but the same people calling people simps are the same people that's running around bigging up people in the industry that are men Facts. so would you rather look like a simp or would you rather look like a groupie to a man so 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 figure that one out first <laughs> well okay and then you come back and let people let, just because people bigging me up don't make you a simp okay. that don't make you a simp let people big me up let them show me some love and fall okay. back Okay. But shout out to you though. Shout out to you. I just always wanted to say that because because they always say simp simp. No, it's not simping. It's okay. not simping because I see the same people that's calling people Karen. simps running around bigging up me. So, so you're a groupie. Karen. I'm sorry. Karen. Yeah. Car Carolina. Okay. Back down to earth. Yeah. Let me 
let me finish his comment. So many oh. simps in the chat. She is hella gorgeous, though. That's what he said. So you oh. just went off on him for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> you like flipped on him. <laughs> okay, I'm so sorry. Thank you so much. I, okay, I thought he just said everyone's a simp. Like, I thought it was really me. No, because, you know, I'm so used to hate comp, so bless your heart. I'm just on the edge, man. <laughs> I, was, I was just taking a breath and I was about to tell you. But... <laughs> you good. You're I'm good. so sorry. <laughs> Yo. Tell him I'm so sorry. I'm gonna he... cash up him five dollars. Tell him to drop his cash out. I'll give him five dollars. He can hear you. He can hear you. Okay, Wait. okay, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I'm sorry. I did not know that I didn't let you know. When I said live stream, that's like, I, I don't know. I just thought like, oh yeah, live stream. Because he... she just she just knows. Well, yeah. I saw that you you know I I love your page and I know you're on YouTube, but Aww. I didn't know we were live on YouTube. Yeah, you yeah. have like a really great. You have a great no, and you have a really great channel. By the way, I've watched it. Thank you, Carolina. That means so much to me. What, what? Uh, how long have you been on there? Because I don't, I don't, I don't see you a lot. A lot of people don't really comment like that, and they'll say, "Oh yeah, I've been on your page," but it's like I don't. Well, I went, I did my homework on you before I came on. Oh. And so I clicked on several videos and I was like, wow, I really like his, I really like his channel. I really like his personality. Oh, st stop mm -hmm. it. Stop it. You should, you should, did you ever <laughs> see the um, Big Three I Missed? I don't mean to be like a shameless plug, but like uh, Big Three I Missed video? Big Three, no, I need to go watch it. So. Okay, what? Watch that. Oh, I see whenever. it right here. Ray J one wish parody. Yeah, yeah. It's okay, I had right. a lot. Of, I had a lot of fun. Watch it whenever you, like you can. Oh my god, this looks yeah. amazing. Yeah, it's it's this pretty. Looks like you put a lot of hard work into it. It's pretty. It's pretty awesome, and it's a shame that it only has like a couple views. But hey, we're gonna we're gonna bust that ceiling sooner or later. I'm not worried about you it. You will. I believe in you. Man, well, Carolina, what's uh? What's been on your mind as far as like anything you want to talk about, you know, before we wrap it up? Because honestly, I don't have anything else to talk about. Everybody in the everybody in the chat is just basically saying like how pretty you are. So I mean, we don't. Really, yeah, nothing's really going Thank on. Thank you, and I'm so you guys bless y'all's heart because this is the day after I threw the first pitch at the missions, and I had a rough night last night. It was really fun. I had a good time. Was it good or um, rough? I'm confused. Not, no, it was, I mean, it was good, but like, <laughs> I, like, cause I never get a break. I'm always working. So I finally requested some time off and got a break. So mm -hmm. I kind of drank some beer and yeah, I had a good, like me waking up like this. Not, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. so thank you. For, thank you guys for making me feel pretty today. Cause I really Aww. needed that. Aww. Thank you. <laughs> as far as anything I want to talk about i'm just honestly you guys honestly i just want y'all to comment um like the Derek white interview i'm super nervous about it and and that's kind of what's on my mind right now like the Derek white interview i'm extremely nervous i'm extremely excited i just wanted like when you guys listen to it i just want y'all to love it you know what i mean and that's mm -hmm. kind of like what i want to do is like put a good product out there so that's kind of where my mind is at right now. It's like, Derek White's going to be on the show. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's kind of where I'm at. Yeah. Don't, don't, well, I can't tell you don't be nervous. Um, you're going to be nervous. <laughs> yeah. But, like, you know, just go into it. Be yourself. I'm sure it'll be okay. Like he, like you said, he seems like a really cool, low-key person. It's good that you're not interviewing somebody like, I don't know, like James pop. Harden or something. Yeah, pop or, like. <laughs> I was thinking players because, you know, some people give you a hard time, but like, no, nah, yeah. he seems cool. So you should be fine. Yeah. He, yeah. And he seems really sweet. It's just, I just hope y'all like that. I kind of wanted to make it more like listener driven. So if y'all have any questions that y'all want me to ask him, I'm picking questions from the listeners to ask Derek White. So I'm basically going to say your name and say what your question is and then he gets to answer your question so that's kind of what i want to do because i feel like that that'll make it easier for me to have fun with him okay so where can they um ask you those questions well they can ask me right now on my twitter page 
or my Instagram page. It's at Carolina Teague underscore. Or if this live stream is going to be up um, afterwards, I don't know if it will be. Yeah, yeah, but it will be. They, they can comment their question here on this live stream too. And I'll take a look at these questions. And then you can just hashtag ask Derek and I can, I'll pick, um, like I'm picking the questions that I think will make the show, you know. Okay. Boom. Okay. Yeah. And and I'm I'm actually showing your uh your Twitter page right here. So it's Carolina underscore oh. Carolina Teague underscore right here, guys. So oh, yeah. Follow her. Okay. Retweet mm -hmm. whatever she has and then put Queen on it. That's what you do. Yes, I'm so sorry for going off on Homeboy. Like, what was his name? C C B. C B. I'm so. Did he disappear? I'm so sorry. Where is C B? That's my only concern right <laughs> he, now. Where is C B? He. Can't. He came back and he said, got him. I don't know what that meant, but like, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I get it. Yes, got him. I, 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 fell, for the, I fell for the banana in the tailpipe. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see. All right. So honestly, I do want to ask you about this. So I did see this. So you, did you do like a, like a uh, pass for in a baseball, like a first throw or something? Yeah, that was yesterday. I did a first pitch for the mission game. Oh, that's mm -hmm. pretty cool. I don't. I don't know who the mission team cool. is. Oh, well, because you're in Memphis, right? They're like a local. Um, they're a local team in San Antonio. Okay. Uh, they're like a local professional baseball team. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. All yeah. right. It was cool. It was like, oh my god, because San Antonio doesn't have a baseball team, so this is like as big as it gets. And so I was <laughs> like, oh my god, I was like super happy. It was a lot of fun, and I was practicing my pitch all week. Oh, that's dope! Awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're like all over the place. And I know that you're like, my gosh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I know you're staying like busy. Mm -hmm. So I look, I really do appreciate you coming on and like spending a few of your precious minutes with us. Okay. We're nothing. We're trash in comparison to you. So no, but, I love you guys. You have uh, such a great YouTube channel. Your, um, your, um, subscribers. I love them too. Fishing for They're compliments. so sweet. No, I'm not. They're really nice. And I just really appreciate you for inviting me on. Don't ever say you're a nobody. I know it sounds really cliche, but everybody is, you know, always important. And it's never, don't ever down talk yourself. Don't ever down talk like your greatness. Like I'm learning to like, because I used to do that a lot. Mm -hmm. And I'm learning to like speak like, you know, positive things into the air. And I feel like, you know, that energy comes back to you. So don't just say you guys are nobody. Like I appreciate them calling me queen and stuff, but nobody's a peasant in my eyes. I feel like we're all equals, and I just want everybody to know that like you guys are important. Like no matter, you know what you guys think about yourselves. Like just keep working hard and keep grinding. I, I love what you said, spoken by a true queen. We're up here, but you're <laughs> like you're in the sky. Okay. So you just you just keep flying, all right? Thank thank you for giving us that little bit of uh, encouragement, but we know we know our place here, okay? We know our place here. So, <laughs> but I appreciate it. I really do appreciate you coming on, and that's um, that's awesome. I'm sorry that I just kind of railroaded you into YouTube. I, I I thought I said I don't know. I'm I don't know, but I'm sorry. No, about that. oh, that's I love surprises. Like, uh... <laughs> all right, well, look, I I really appreciate it. You are awesome. Um, Thanks for like giving me your insight and like everybody check her out on Twitter. I'm sure that one more time and her, uh, her interview that's coming up. Make sure you, uh, yes, check I it hope out. You guys check it out. I hope you guys check it out. I would love for you guys to check it out. Like I'm, I'm excited. And of course, make sure you hashtag ask Derek on this live stream or on my Twitter, or Instagram, and I might pick your question to ask Derek. So thank you so much for having me on. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Carolina. I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll no, we'll hit you. we'll hit base again. If you want to ever get back on, just let me know. Oh yeah, I'm gonna let you know, man. I'm gonna hit you up. Right. I'm gonna hit you up. When's your when's the best time of the year for you? The best time of the year? Yeah, like uh, when like to do when this? you want me back on? Yeah, uh huh. Oh, like anytime. I don't I don't care. Like if, if you want to oh, jump anytime. on, okay. yeah, because I I do. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna start doing um more watch parties and stuff like that. So if you want to jump on on a watch party, that'd be cool too. Like it's whenever. I don't care. Yeah, if I'm not covering a game and I can join a watch party, I definitely will. Okay. All right. All right. Sounds I'll, good. I'll stay in contact. All right, Carolina. Bye. Thank you for inviting me. Bye, guys.
All right. All right. So how did that go? I, th I think it went well. Oh my goodness, dude. You guys suck so bad. Okay. I'm trying to sit here and keep a straight face. And all I can see is clan wifer clan. Th this, this is your soul. Like, what are you doing? You guys are so ridiculous. What are you doing? Stop it. Okay. Control yourselves. See, this is why we can't have nice things because of you guys. Good interview clan. You are worthy, bro. I was not worthy. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> it was good, man. It was good. It was fun. She's cool. I hate, dude, I really hate that. Uh, I really hate that I didn't. I thought I said YouTube, but I guess I did. I guess I just said live stream. Uh, you know why I hate that? Because she, she put her, um, she put her son on. I thought, I thought, I thought she knew. I'm sorry. I feel bad now. GG clam my pet. I was troll. I know, I know, Journey. I'm just messing with you. We just can't have good things because of you. <laughs> oh my god, dude. All right, but yeah, check her out, man. She does good stuff. She was on OOC one time. I don't know if you guys remember. You know, I'm not with OOC anymore, but she was on there. Uh, she was on there once. Man, we Spurs fans, what you expect? I don't know. I don't know what I expect. I expected too much, apparently. Uh, by the way, I just want to go ahead and, you know, I've been giving everything else a plug. I might as well give myself a plug, huh? Let's see. All right. So, I'm just letting you guys know about this, just in case you want to. Link's in the description. If you want to uh, become a patron, um, there's a patron only, uh, what, what is it called? Uh, category, okay? on the discord um but yeah if you want to become a patron i give you shout outs at the end of like the videos that i have to really edit and stuff like that um but yeah it's only two dollars a month it's really just the support okay it's not really here to say oh bro like you get this that and the third like maybe in the future when it grows a little bit more like i can give back and give give giveaways but this is really just for you guys to support so if you want to support the channel you like what i'm doing it helps me keep it up, honestly, with all the copyright stuff I get hit with. So, but yeah, two dollars a month. Yeah. Thank you so much. If you want to do that, that would mean the world to me. Okay. All right. <laughs> I hate that she took me so serious with the whole like we're peasants thing, which we are. But uh, yeah, she didn't like that. She didn't like that too much. Uh, Rich boy said, "What happened with OOC? What is OOC? No more OOC." Um. What happened with OC is just I wasn't gonna be able to do it as much. Uh, your boy Harrison wasn't wasn't gonna be able to do it much at all either. So it it was just too much editing. Um, and then with school starting up, all the stuff I got going on, um, yeah, I just wasn't gonna be able to do it. And I wanted to support. I, I wanted to really focus on this channel, so that's why I kind of like steer it away. And as you can see, when the energy goes back into this channel makes pretty good content so that's all um it's not active as of now um basically rob is the main person handling oc now so he's gonna do something with it where he's gonna have you know different people or whatnot but uh yeah i'm not there so support me over here okay support me over here i'm broke i'm about to be homeless okay all right all right let's see what someone else people said um i think we kind of covered everything i gave my thoughts on bryn forbes i hate that it started so late just couldn't figure it out that's my fault bro i had it so janky i'm sorry she no wishes oh my goodness bro i understood what she was saying with the whole simp thing like simp isn't just you compliment because some, some people do take it too too far but no nah, nah, I, I think it's a little different y'all simping <laughs> Y'all simping. Y'all simping. I got you. Oh, for real? Thanks, South South Tex. Thank you. If you become a patron, man, I'll put you on the thing. Like like I said, if anybody want to become a patron, only $2 a month, man. Like, hey, the more the merrier, you know what I mean? My goal, my goal is to have at least 100 patrons. That's my goal. That's my wish, okay? That's my wish. 100 patrons. Right now, we're at like eight, I think. 100 patient patrons is my my wish all right is there anything else to talk about because i might just bounce like i mean i don't have to go but 
I mean, I do have to go take my car somewhere, but you support all the con Spurs content creators. Shame on you. You should only be supporting me, okay? I am the only content creator. I'm the only one that you should be following, subscribing, commenting, and liking, okay? That's it. That's that's it. Just me. Okay? You are disloyal, Alexander. You are disloyal to the clan movement, all right? You are perma banned. I just banned you. Not really, but... <laughs> all right. Yeah, I think that's about it, man. If you guys don't have anything, I don't have anything. Like, I'm just chilling. A few people kind of dropping out. I'm cool. Clan, you see the word on a potential sim Simmons to Spurs? was posted on Reddit. What? Okay, we see, let's look at that. Simmons to Spurs on Reddit? Oh, yeah. Loannis, Papa... I mentioned it, bro. I don't even know who that is. And the, the reason... Here, I'll show you real quick. The reason why I didn't talk about him too much, uh, especially with Carolina, is because this part right here, uh, Noah also said, not exactly sure what their alleged interest in him means. The former Texas Longhurt recently signed a two-year deal to stay with, I can't say that, in early July. So take this report with a grain of salt. So that's why I'm taking it with a grain of salt. I, I don't know who he is. And even if we have interest in him, I mean, what, it'll be two years? Like, I don't know if he can just break the contract. You know what I mean? Alex I thought you were the only one. I am the only one. Don't support anyone else but me. I own this, okay? I am the ruler of YouTube, of Spurs YouTube. No one. No one. No one. And I mean no one. Can take me down, okay? I am the ruler. Caroline is the queen. I am a... God, I don't know. I don't know what I am. Okay, uh, you said on Reddit. You see, is this it? Is this what you guys are talking about? No, this is one month ago. Uh, oh, one minute ago. Wait a minute. One minute. Uh, yeah, the talent is talent. Um, sign and trick. Yeah, guys, I, I'm not seeing it. I don't know what you're talking about. You said it was on Reddit. Spurs should trade. Um, I don't even see how we could get Ben Simmons at this point. I mean, what the heck would they want at this point? We already signed and traded DeMar. Like, Sixers would just be dumb. Why do you think his name's Clan? Actually, actually, my name isn't Clan because it's a Clan. But you know what? We can go with that. That's not how where Clan came from. But I don't know. I don't even want to mention. I don't even want to say it. I'll say it. Okay, so um, it's the play on my name. So I did clandestine because I kind of like attack in silence. You know what I mean? Like I'm doing with YouTube right now. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I'm so. Uh, oh, TSR Sports is gone. Hey, there was something else I wanted to look at. I'm, I'm going to watch this video with you guys really quick, okay? Nothing serious. I just wanted to watch it with you really quick. Because um, I actually liked this. Let me see. History. Uh, what's this guy's name? Fast Break Report. Yeah, let me show you something. Give me a minute. Let's react to this really quick. Uh, Fast Break Report YouTube. He, um, he, it looks like he's a newer channel. But he talked about um, the Doug McDermott signing. And I actually liked a little bit of what he said. Oh, posted an hour ago on the NBA Spurs Reddit. Okay, we'll look at that first. Is this it? Is this the NBA? Okay, this is the NBA Spurs Reddit. You said an hour ago? Hold on, let me see. That's eight hours ago. Nine hours ago. Seven hours ago. Um, one day ago. Eight hours ago. You said one hour. Hold on. And it was Ben Simmons. So let me just type in Ben Simmons. Okay, this is two hours ago. Rumor, former, former Spurs Antonio Daniels said he is 
hearing talks in San Antonio of a potential Ben Simmons trade before the season starts on NBA. Re- How though? AD uh, mentioned that since he still lives in San Antonio and still talks with the brass over there, uh, there are talks in up and coming Ben Simmons trade. He wouldn't go in more detail or give up his sources when Rick pushed him for more. Interesting. I take it for a grain of salt. No, no, you don't have to give me the link. I see it right here. I got it right here. I found it. Hmm. I mean, I just don't know how. I, I mean, I'm not saying dude is lying because we all know when I gave like some information on some stuff, everyone said I was lying. Um, so I'm not going to say he's lying because when you say you have sources, everybody just like automatically assumes you're lying or screams out like fake news. Oh, well, look at that. South text just says fake news. Yeah. Everyone does that. But, um, I don't know. I mean, maybe he's hearing, he could very well be hearing talks and they just be wrong, you know? All right. So look at this channel. Um, and actually, you know, what would be cool. Cause I actually like the way this guy, um, speaks and stuff. If you guys could go to his channel later on, like Fast Break Report, and just comment under this video and say, Clan sent me here, Clan the Spurs fan sent me here, that would mean the world, because I like this. So I want to show you guys just what he had to say. Hey guys, um, what is up? Hold on, let me turn it up a little bit. Let me turn my music off. Yeah, so check this out. Um, I'm going to fast forward a little bit. And he talked about the Spurs getting McDermott, and I agree with him. And McConnell together were very good players, and... Doug McDermott is very good at, at hitting threes. He's a very good pick and pop. Sources, sources, voice in my head. Oh, my goodness. Player. I mean, like, this is a guy who's, like, he can get to the basket. Like, that's one thing we started seeing from Doug McDermott this year, or last year that we didn't see the year before. Is Doug McDermott cutting to the basket and actually, like, dunking the basketball and, you know, like, getting looks at the rim and actually, like, diving to the basket and stuff. He used to never do that stuff. And he started doing it last year. And it, it, it did wonders for his game. I mean, it's not often you get to pick up. It's so crazy because, McDer- like I told you guys in the other video, he started off as just like, okay, he's pretty good. Um, and through his career, just consistent, consistently good. And this past season, it seemed like every single Spurs player that they're grabbing, like every player that they're grabbing, is somebody that had a really good season, like leading up to what we're about to see, you know? Pick up a guy who shoots 53% from the field. And is a you know a bench player who gets what like twenty minutes a game or something like that. So, I, I mean, Doug McDermott made the most of his minutes last year. That's why he got paid what he did. And I, I, feel I like did not the, think it was overpaid. A lot of Pacer, uh, Pacers fans know this, but when we drafted Chris Duarte, it, it was pretty obvious at that point like we weren't resigning Doug McDermott because. Chris Duarte was the, like, literally the most, like, uh, yeah, pretty much the most efficient player in college basketball. He shot 42% from... See, it was actually the part at the end where I was like, he kind of summed it all up. And somebody who's not afraid to go to the basket. Um, Doug McDermott is not a good defender. He's not a great rebounder. But they needed a guy who could stretch the floor. And they got a guy who can not only stretch the floor, does it extremely well, shoots very well, and can get to the basket. So, um... I think the Spurs got themselves a really, really good uh, pickup. So, anyway, uh, excuse me. That's pretty much it. Just want to talk about this because I think it's a huge move. I I think Doug McDermott was one of the better players in free agency. And, uh, you know, the Pacers kind of, like, they they spent their cap cap space money or their their money on TJ McConnell. We don't care about the Pacers, okay. But, yeah, so, yeah, I just wanted to show you that because he's actually uh, pretty good. I I like what he had to say about it. Um, actually, let me, let me give him a little like. Let me say, oh, wait, Hoop Slice is already on there. Look at that. You are disloyal, Hoop Lights, okay? I said the only page you can be on is my own, and you, you went over to someone else's. Even though I'm giving you permission to now, you did this yesterday. Shame on you. Okay. (laughs) That's a good, good video. That's all I gotta say. Good video. There we go. Good video. <sighs> but yeah. Yeah, guys. I think that's about it. I think uh, the interview went well. Um, she gave me her thoughts on everything. It's pretty good. I'm cool. Once again, follow her there. And as far or on uh, Twitter here, um, Carolina Teague underscore. 
and for me, like, hey, bam, you know, clan, uh, clan Spurs fan, Patreon, uh, links below, only $2 a month, okay, I'm not trying to break the bank for anybody, okay, I love you, wait, did I just get a, I just got a message, hold on, Alright guys, I'm hopping off. I appreciate the love. Uh, this was a good talk. What I'm gonna do, if you're wondering as far as this uh, page is concerned and like what's coming up, I'm gonna be gone basically all of next week. So I'm gonna record quite a few videos. Um, either, probably tomorrow. It'll have to be tomorrow. So I'll record a bunch of videos um, and I'll just have them scheduled throughout the week so I don't have to really worry about it. So just letting you guys know about that. Um, I also got a new song that I just made. Uh, it's pretty funny. I guess I'll post that sometime next week. That'd probably be a good idea. And yeah, we're going to talk about different lineups. It's really frustrating because I feel like something's still going to happen. So I don't want to just make a video on, oh, this should be the lineup or whatever. But I don't know. It might pan out that way. And by the time it comes out next week, I'll probably be late. So all right, man. All right, Impeccable. Oh, I didn't know Impeccable was in here. Uh, he's a patron, actually. Um, but yeah, if you want to be a patron, link's in the description. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Get, get with you later. Um, wait, wait. Just putting what? Lakers are going to be bunt. They are going to be buns, okay? They're like so old. I wanted to tell Carolina's kid that Lakers are bun, buns, like butt cheeks, but I, I felt like that would be inappropriate. All right, I'll get with you guys later, man. Yeah, do, 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 sis. Wait, wait, hold on, false alarm, hold on. I need to ask a question before I go, okay? Hold on, really question, re really quick. Um, does anybody have a timestamp for when we talked? Like when I finally got to talk to uh, Carolina? If you do, either put it in the comments or just let me know right now in the chat and then I'm gonna uh, add it in after I get off. Anybody, timestamp? Just find it for me really quick, please. Please. I know I left you hanging for like a few minutes, so people probably jumped out. What? A, a timestamp, like when we first started talking. You know? Like what point in the video was that? Anybody know? If you don't, it's okay. I gotta be patient. Post credit scene. Oh my goodness, guys. Listen, I just need to know. <laughs> Yeah, I just need to know. It's okay. I can just figure it out later. All right. I'm going to leave. Yeah, mods get after it. All right, all right, all right. Tell, uh, South Texas, I should make you a mod, and then you'll have to get after it. <clears throat> all right. I'll give it to you guys later. Uh, eh, we'll figure it out. It doesn't matter. But if you do know, just put it in the chat. I'll be looking at the chat, so... Um, Dang, Alex, you missed everything. You did an interview with... Yeah. Never mind. All right, I'll give it to you guys later. Till next time. Deuces. Two minutes and got it. Thank you. <laughs> See you guys later. I'm for real this time. Deuces.